Usually what they'll say in a problem like this is they'll say that the polynomial has rational coefficients. And what they mean by that is you're not going to have any irrational uh, coefficients, meaning square roots that you know can't be simplified. So if the roots are 2 and 4 minus root 2, you automatically know that 4 plus square root of 2 is also going to be root. So these are going to come as what they call conjugate pairs, okay? And you can see all I did was change the sign in between these two quantities. So again, if the coefficients are all rational, these will come as, con as conjugate pairs. So what you want to do is you want to write it like this. You've got x minus the root, okay, is going to be what they call a factor. And same thing here, x minus the root, okay, is going to be a factor. And then x minus this root is going to be a factor. Okay, but now what we're going to do is, instead of writing it like this, let's go ahead and uh, distribute this negative. So this is going to be x minus 4 plus square root of 2, right? And this is going to be x minus 4 minus square root of 2. Okay, so you're with me so far, and I'm just going to bring down the x minus 2. Now what we're going to do uh, next is we're going to group the x minus 4s like this, okay? And I'll show you why. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these uh, together, but what happens is, See these inner terms here? This is square root of 2 times x minus 4. And then over here, these outer terms, negative square root of 2 times x minus 4, those have opposite signs, so they're going to cancel one another out. So when we multiply these together, we're going to get x minus 4 times x minus 4. So that's x minus 4 squared. And then we're going to get square root of 2 times negative square root of 2, which is just negative 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit further. This is x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus 2, okay, which we could really write this as plus 14, okay, and we got it. Now we're just going to bring down the x minus 2, and all we're going to do here is we're going to distribute the x to all three of these and the negative 2 to all three of these. So let's go ahead and do that. So x times each of these is going to give you x cubed minus 8x squared plus 14x, okay, and then we distribute the negative 2, we get negative 2x squared plus 16x, minus 28. And if we add all those together, you can see we're getting x cubed minus 10x squared plus 28x. I'm sorry, that's 30x, okay, minus 28. So there's your polynomial right there. So again, the little shortcut technique that I'm showing you here is, remember, x minus the roots is a factor, but then what we did is we distributed that negative and then we regrouped uh, these quantities in such a way that you've got the same thing. See x minus 4 and x minus 4, and then what we end up with is a sum and a difference pattern. So you probably remember when you factored like a squared minus b squared, right? How does that factor? a plus b, a minus b. And you can see the, the inner terms, a, b, and the outer terms, negative a, b, they cancel one another out. So it makes the calculations a lot quicker and easier. So let's look at another example. So example 2, here they're telling us that the uh, roots are 2 and 4 minus i. So automatically, if the coefficients are real, we know that 4 plus i will also be a root. So if we want to write these factors, it's going to be x minus the root, x minus this root, and then x minus this root, right? We're going to do the same thing like we did on the last example. We're going to distribute the negative, so that's going to be x minus 4 plus i, and then same thing here, x minus 4 minus i. So all I did was distribute, and I'm going to bring down the x minus 2. So let's go ahead and multiply these together. And uh, the way we're going to do that is group the x minus 4s like so. Okay, and so you can see what's happening. We've got first terms, x minus 4 times x minus 4 is x minus 4 squared. The inner terms and the outer terms are going to cancel because you have negative i times, a square, uh, times x minus 4 and positive i times x minus 4. Those are opposite signs. They cancel one another out. And then i times negative i is negative i squared. Okay, which remember, i squared is negative 1 times a negative would make this whole thing a positive 1. So now we just have to foil this out. That's going to give you x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus this one would give you 17. And then we're going to multiply by x minus 2. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to distribute the x and then distribute the negative 2. So let's go ahead and do that. And then distribute the negative 2. That gives us negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 34, and if we combine like terms, you can see this is going to give us our final polynomial, and we've got it. You can see all the coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables are real, and you've got it. So again, this is just a reminder that, you know, when you have these 
quantities that they come as conjugate pairs, okay? And the other thing is um, make sure that you do x minus the root for your factor. And then the shortcut technique that I was sharing with you is how you can rearrange these terms in such a way that you have a sum and difference pattern so that the inner and the outer uh, products are going to cancel each other out so you just have the first and the last and that makes the calculations go a little bit uh, smoother and quicker. So I hope you benefited from this video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.